It's Friday for the second time this week, but this one is followed by two whole days of gaming and relaxation, making it the perfect time to catch up on this week's hottest news in gaming, geek and tech, brought to you by Ariel and Cody. So let's do this thing before we enable that out of office. I can pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. Manor Lords brings in over 170,000 concurrent players. Manor Lords is an early access city builder that was released this past week on Steam. And to say it's been a big hit is to put things mildly. In fact, just one day after launch, the game has already sold over a million copies and drawn in over 170,000 concurrent players. Not only is this crazy impressive, but it's also the highest number of concurrent players recorded for a city builder ever on Steam. And that is not even taking into account any of the Game Pass numbers or Epic. The next Arkham game is on the horizon, but it is set to be an exclusive title. Not for PlayStation and not for Xbox, but for the MetaQuest 3. Teased earlier this week on the official Meta YouTube page, Batman Arkham Shadow will be the next game released in the Arkham series. This one, however, will be completely VR and exclusive to those who own a MetaQuest 3. The teaser trailer doesn't show off much, not even a little bit of the gameplay we can expect, but what it does show is that the bad guy in this game is more than likely Otis Flanagan, or as we all know him, the Ratcatcher. While we wait for more information on the game, the only question remaining is, will it have better rat physics than a Plague Tale? The Fallout TV show is one of Amazon's biggest hits. According to Amazon, over 65 million people have already binged their way through it. In only two weeks after release, this makes Fallout Amazon's most watched show among people between 18 and 35 and the second most watched show ever. Sure seems that Fallout is rad in all the right ways. As always, more details on these and other hot news stories in gaming, geek and tech can be found on www.nag.ca.za. Now close that laptop and get to gaming, it's the weekend. Game on, geek out.